Okay, I'm confused about the difference between etiology and manifestation codes. What is the difference? And do you know any example? Have any examples? And we just happen to have that. This is basic uh, for coders. We, you know, you don't probably really think etiology and manifestation when you're coding. But what's the first you need to know is the guidelines. Etiology is telling you what the patient has wrong with them. Manifestation tells you how the etiology is presenting. So an example of that, 250, that's the uh, diabetes, diabetes with mellitus. That's the etiology. That's what the patient has. This and keep in mind, uh, uh, diabetes codes always have five digits, the 250. So uh, they do trick you on the test sometimes and leave one of those digits off. Okay, so let's say our patient is uh, 250.1. That's a type 1 diabetic and it's under control. So if this patient starts having some problems, say their kidneys start acting up, which is common with diabetes, the patient comes into the office today because they're feeling lightheaded and their feet have been swollen for a week. Nothing seems to alleviate that swelling. The patient's a type 1 uh, diabetic uh, for 35 years. Their blood pressure is 150 over 98. They've got plus 3 edema in the ankles bilaterally and have high protein level in their urine. So this person's sick. They've got something going on. Their diabetes is the um, etiology and they have manifestations. So HTN, that's the abbreviation for hypertension. you got pure protein in the urine, and you've got edema. These are all signs of renal uh, neuro neuropathy, and that's common with people who've had diabetes for a long time. So our patient code for this visit is going to be 250.41, and this code tells you that um, to use the additional code to identify the manifestation, which is neuropathy, 583.81. So 250.41 is the etiology, 583.81 is the manifestation, and there's some other suggestions of ones that you can look up when um, you get this on the replay or you get it in the, uh, uh, well, they, they get a copy of this after the, after the webinar. Mm -hmm. You can practice those. Pay attention to the guidelines and what it tells you to code in addition, but that's manifestations and etiology. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.